Savannah Port truck drivers rallying today asking for more pay. A protest about to get underway at the Georgia Port Authority headquarters in Savannah. Our Whitney Harris is live on the scene and Whitney, this isn't the first time they've been out there for this type of protest. Mike, yes, that's right. This is part of an ongoing fight by drivers at the Savannah Port Authority. They say that the problem, the main issue, is their classification as independent contractors. They say that doesn't allow them to get the same amount of pay and benefits as if they were regular full-time employees. Now, let's take a look at some video from past rallies that they've had. The port truck drivers say that they work long hours. They haul nearly $4 billion worth of cargo every day, but they say they still often make below minimum wage. They say their classification as independent contractors keeps them from being able to fight back. In fact, they're calling it an illegal misclassification. Well, today, drivers will deliver a letter to the executive director of the Georgia Port Authority demanding a public statement from the Port Authority on this issue and asking the Port Authority to also meet with the Savannah truck drivers to discuss solutions. This is the letter I have here in my hand that they will be delivering later on today and this is also not just an issue for Savannah truck drivers. Truck drivers in Los Angeles have been making news for rallying. They're rallying all over the country for this issue. This rally here in Savannah is expected to get underway at 8 o'clock this morning, so in just a little bit, and we'll, of course, stay out here and bring you the latest. Reporting live from Savannah, Whitney Harris, WTOC News.